Hey, this is Scott from RP Gamer. Don't adjust your screen. There's no video yet. I wanted to take a moment and leave the screen black so you can see your own reflection. Look at you. Wow, what a creature. You know, I've noticed you've been working really hard lately, and I think you deserve a vacation. Unfortunately, I can't give that to you, but I can promise you all the amenities of a remote Mediterranean getaway for you to enjoy wherever you are, courtesy of Alba, a wildlife adventure. Brought to us by UK-based Us2 Games, Alba is a photography-driven game that puts you in the tiny shoes of the game's namesake, who is on her yearly parent-free holiday to visit her grandparents on a Mediterranean island. When Patrick first showed me the trailer for this game, I basically threw my computer across the room to start downloading Alba on the Switch. In real life, I love photography and animals, and in video game life, I love cutesy indie games. So the overall combo of all of these inside Alba was immediately appealing to me. The island is beautiful, but the game kicks off with peril. A dolphin is trapped on the beach, and Alba's friend Inesh enlists you to help gather a group of people big enough to carry the dolphin back to sea. After a resounding success, Inesh, who is one of those kids who just doesn't stop, Balin traps you into forming a group with her called Alba and Inesh Wildlife Rescue League, or AROL for short. AROL, I roll, I roll. I, I don't know. I was hoping the name was a joke, and thankfully it was. The game makes fun of itself many times to let us know that they're in on the joke with us. Even reading their description of the game in the App Store is kind of informal and really funny. In one section of their description, Us2 refers to the game as a chillectathon to encourage you to take your time on the island to make your own experience at your own pace and in no rush. Even though you technically aren't in a rush, Alba's visit with her grandparents is only one week long, so all of your gameplay adventures are broken up into five or so days, but more on that in a minute. There is an overarching storyline throughout the game that involves a scheming mayor, an evil hotelier, and a rundown nature reserve that is in danger of being replaced by a high-rise hotel. Collecting locals' signatures to save the habitat is a Rolls' main mission that gives you plenty of reason to explore the island. There's so much to like about Alba, and the developers did a great job packing a lot of details into the roughly four hours it took me to play the game from start to finish. The story itself is really cute. As you get settled into your grandparents, you're gifted with your grandfather's old cell phone and a notebook to track all the wildlife you come across throughout your adventures. The notebook becomes your menu, basic quest log, and wildlife checklist. I mean, who doesn't want to save the environment while snapping photos of super cute animals with a camera phone? I just, look at these little babies, just so sweet. It's all just so cute. Almost all of the island is open from the start, so you could spend hours, well, maybe hour, exploring the island before starting. And while the story unlocks pretty linearly, the tasks don't generally block you from progressing with the story or unlocking new tasks. Each day gives you a vague set of quests and an even vaguer time frame because you can play for as long as you want and end the day when you're ready. Inesh, Alba's grandparents, and a few other key characters around town, like the veterinarian or the ice cream shop owner, give you simple tasks to complete, like cleaning up trash, helping sick animals, or trying new flavors of ice cream. There are also not so straightforward tasks, like repairing bridges and signs, that unlock sweet interactions with residents and nature enthusiasts about how your work is impacting their lives. The whole community on the island is really diverse, and they are all, in a very good way, very high school musical with their we're all in this together attitude. This approach is really comfortable and welcoming, and I really love that. I mean, who doesn't love being part of a community? This really reflects in the way most of the tasks are very, hey, do this for us, instead of, hey, do this for me. And more often than not, finishing these tasks gets you signatures for your petition, which is one of the main goals for the game, collecting signatures to stop the evil hotelier and save the nature reserve. Kind of like I was saying earlier, the island setting in Alba could not be more perfect. This little island town has all of the Mediterranean flair you'd expect out of an oceanside oasis. 
The town itself is full of colorful and diverse creatures, both human and animal, to interact with. The mountainside is rich with historic ruins and artifacts. The small group of trees they call a forest is overflowing with squishy creatures. The rice fields and farms are lush with plant life. The sunny beaches are, well, they're beaches. And the nature reserve has plenty of exotic animals and broken down landmarks that need fixing. I also like that the tasks were pretty straightforward and generally fairly quick to accomplish, like testing out ice cream flavors, which I mean, I'd probably spend a fair amount of time doing on a Mediterranean island. But most other tasks were relevant to the story, like finding the source of a sludge that's making certain wildlife species sick or rebuilding birdhouses. I thrive in more linear, streamlined experiences like this because every time I pick it up, I know exactly where I left off and what I was doing. Though it only took me two-ish sittings to save the animals and all the f***ing birds. Speaking of all the f***ing birds, even though this game is pretty and cute, it does have a few minor pitfalls, like all of the birds. There are a lot of fun animals to capture across the island. Your squirrels, lizards, birds, puppies and kitties, birds, goats, just so many tits, which you know are birds, chickens, which I guess are also kind of birds, uh, ducks, oh yeah, birds, and then more birds. Just so many birds. Out of the 62 species on the island, 51 of them are birds. And I may not personally own a pair of bird-watching binoculars, but I don't hate birds. I just wish there had been a little bit more of a variety. Even adding in photos of like plant life could have spiced it up. I was also kind of bummed that you couldn't actually see the photos you were taking after you saved them. And honestly, I wasn't that bummed about it until I played another game with similar mechanics where it does actually save your often hilarious photos in an album that you can flip through at any time but more on that at a later date. Wink. I don't know, it just actually makes the game less of a photo-taking game and more of a scan-all-the-species game. And as someone who owns a hefty mirrorless Sony that I use in my spare time, I would have preferred the former. Then again, it was easy to look past all these minor hang-ups, and honestly, they probably aren't even hang-ups or that noticeable to like a casual gamer or kids, which again is probably the primary audience for a game like this. Overall, this is one of those magical, fun games that really is for anyone. From hardcore gamers who typically spend 100 hours on an RPG to folks who only have a Switch because they were bored during a pandemic. But this game is especially great for people like me. Casual gamers who sometimes need a short escape from their hectic schedules and need a quick, fun, cutesy little game that you can put down and pick up whenever you want. Alba, a wildlife adventure, is easy to move through, it's beautiful and fun, the mechanics are easy, and it's just super cute. Speaking of cute, look at you. Look at you being all cute and stuff. And look at you staying until the end of this video. I wish I could give you a Mediterranean vacation just for that. I may not be able to give you the vacation you deserve, but... You can still get pretty close by cozying up with Alba and her wildlife friends. <laughs>